What is happening guys? Welcome back to another Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. Today we are testing out a new team. Uh, this is a hyper offense rain team, which should be pretty fun to use. I'm excited to see how these bad boys work. And uh, let's check it out here. So, we've got the Pelipper to set up the Drizzle. And then we have three Swift Swimmers with the Seismitoad, the Dreadnought, and the Beresguda. We also have a Dracovish there, just because it's an absolute beast. And then Ferrothorn for... Uh, just kind of a defensive help. So, we are going to select these guys and I suppose just see how we're going to do. Also, just going to set that to random because why not? So, I'm excited. Uh, we are playing against Dylan. Uh, he is from Twitter. Yeah, I do select most of my battles from Twitter. So, if you guys would like to battle if you have in game team or if you have teams ready, uh, go ahead and follow me. Link is in the description. So, this man has got some threats. He's got the uh, Aegis Slash, he also has the Ditto which is extremely hard to play against. He's got the Gyarados, which is one of the biggest threats in the metagame right now, along with Cinderace, the Excadrill, and Rotom Wash. So, quite the <laughs> quite the scary-looking team there. I'm really afraid of Gyarados. Um, if that thing sets up a Dragon Dance and then Dynamaxes, it can get a max Airstream, which just gives it a speed boost, and it is extremely hard to take care of. And we already know that that is, that is the biggest threat there. So... Um, it doesn't look like he has too much of a dedicated lead. I would kind of like to just go Nigel. We can get up the Swift Swim early and kind of play around that. So I need to get rid of that Gyarados. Um, my best switch in is Warts, but I have nothing, now that I think about it, not much to hit that thing with. So the Gyarados might be, might be the death of me. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I'm excited to use this team. Uh, it's definitely quite the powerhouse. But boy, is this going to be a scary squad. He's got the best revenge killer, which is the Ditto. Got to worry about that. He's going to lead off with the Footlong, which is just going to be Gyarados straight from the start. Um, so, I don't really want to play games with this thing, to be honest. Switching out is a terrible idea here. Uh, I know that I can take at least one hit from this thing. Losing Pelipper is pretty detrimental to this team because we do have to worry about not having a, a rain after that other than if we dynamax and set it up that way but let's just go ahead and click hurricane if i could land a hurricane on this thing we'll at least be able to get some damage on it as he's just going to dragon dance right from the start so super scary gyarados i'm assuming he's going to go ahead and dynamax this next turn this boy got that five dollar foot long we're able to hit the hurricane choice specs is going to be able to do a buttload of damage we do not get the confusion which is a bummer and now i kind of feel like I have to stay in here. Ugh. Yeah, this is just, this is not the best situation. <sighs> yeah, Warts actually isn't a good switch in either because it has Power Whip. Man, Barbara can come in. We can at least get, we can take one hit. Which is, I think that's what we need to do. We'll at least be able to hit it with the Get it with the barbs, but man, I hate Gyarados in this metagame so much. AKA, I'm using one soon. So yeah, here's going to be the Dynamax. Gyarados right from the start, already doing his thing. Dynamax Gyarados, man. Even scarier than Mega Gyarados because it just gets the speed boost from the max airstream. And then it also gets a moxie boost once it kills stuff. It is, it is bad, needless to say. All right. The good news is though, it only got one Dragon Dance up, so gonna go for that max airstream there and we are actually able to live that surprisingly um he gets another speed boost there does get hurt by the life orb he actually doesn't touch us so he doesn't get the iron barbs just kidding well we die here and there's really not much to it we kind of just have to click power whip um this thing is life orb so the good news is this thing is not gonna kill the entire team just most of it <laughs> and when you're playing against one of these things, there's really nothing you can see. So he gets another speed boost. This thing's at plus three. Even my Swift Swimmers are not going to be able to do much. He gets that Moxie boost. Still got another turn of Dynamax. And the Life Orb's actually... Okay, hold up. Here's what we got to do. We got to bring in the Beresguda. We are in the rain. And I need to go for an Aqua Jet. Um... This thing just has too many too many stab boosts at this point. It actually probably would have been better for us had it gone and not and just killed us in one hit with the max airstream, so it would have only had two speed boosts, but hot damn. We just have to click Aqua Jet here and 
Kind of just, yeah, just choice band aqua jet this thing in the rain, which does knock the Gyarados out, thank god. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the scariest Pokemon in the game gone. And I'm pretty excited about that because now we have a chance. We still have the Pelipper, we still have the ability to set up the rain. And it's still raining, boys. I am choice banded into Aqua Jet, as he does have this Rotom Wash, which is a great answer. Um, do not want to stay in here. I do want to save this thing. It's one of the hardest hitting lads on the team other than... I mean, we have just so many offensive threats. But um, I think we go Warts here. He's likely going to go for the Will-O-Wisp, which does look like he would enjoy that. But I'm actually especially offensive... Uh, Seismitoad, so we're going to bring this thing in. I don't have much to hit it with, but I could decide to set up my Stealth Rock. I think he's either going to Volt Switch or Will-O-Wisp here. Does go for the Will-O-Wisp, and he hits it. So, that is not the best for us, but it's fine. We're able to come in relatively safely. The rain goes away, which doesn't really matter too much. We would be able to outspeed this thing, but I, I just don't have much to do to it. He's likely not going to want to stay in either. Um... I might just go right for the Stealth Rock and kind of just limit the switches. He does have that Excadrill, but he's not going to want to bring that thing in. Or do I just click Hydro Pump? He might go into the Ditto and just copy me here, which I think that might be the play. I think we actually just hit Earth Power, to be honest. Let's go ahead and make a risky player. Let's go for the Earth Power. Um, he is going to switch out. He's probably going to bring in the Ditto. He's actually going to go Excadrill. Um, which is great. He's expecting the Stealth Rock there, so that works out for us perfectly. And the Earth Power is going to probably knock this thing down to a Sash. Yes, it does. So, um, quite un unfortunate that it's not still raining because we would be able to outspeed this thing with Swift Swim. But at this point, this thing probably Earthquakes here or just sets up Stealth Rock of his own. But I can't, I don't really want to go into... Hmm... Do I want to bring in the Pelipper here? I don't know if I want to. I don't think I do. Do not think I want to bring that thing in. So let's just go ahead and let's just click Earth Power again here. He probably brought this thing in expecting the Stealth Rock. And then he could go for the Rapid Spin. So Earthquake comes through. We are able to live it because Warts is a thick boy. And that's going to be able to knock out the Drill. Which is another big threat out of the way as well. So he is down to the Aegislash, the Ditto, Cinderace. And Rotom Wash. So the Rotom Wash uh, is scary. We actually live <laughs> we live with one HP from the Life Orb, and then the Burn gets us, which is a sad day. But it's fine. Um, now he's likely going to bring in, I'm thinking maybe Ditto. I'm going to go Nigel. Uh, he's actually pr likely going to go Rotom Wash, actually. Now that I think about it, the Rotom Wash is a good play. Um, he can Will O Wisp, Wisp freaking everything. Oof. This is not good. Yeah, I think we just... I think we go Nigel. Getting up the rain is helpful. I'm just really worried about that damn ditto. So yeah, he does go into damn Washington. Uh, which is actually, I think, a nickname I've used on my Rotom Washes in the past. But alright. So we get Nigel in. This is a terrible matchup for us. Because he can just kill us with, uh, with a T-Bolt here. Or even just a Volt Switch. Do not have my Switch into this anymore. Which was Warts. So... We don't know what item this thing is rocking. I literally have nothing I can switch into this. So, we just stay in. And we click Hurricane. He's actually just going to go for the Volt Switch. Um, so, that is going to knock us out. That was probably a bad idea. I had nothing... Nothing to go into here. On that Switch. Literally, all we were able to do there was set up the rain. But at least this allows us to be able to switch into... Whatever we would want. I can't really set up Swords Dances with Dreadnought because he's got that Ditto around. I'm thinking he's going to go into the Aegislash. So let's just kind of see what this man wants to do. God, that Rotom Wash basically destroys this team. But that is to be expected um, when I'm using... <laughs> when I'm using so many Swift Swimmers. So he's thinking about what he wants to bring in. The Cinderace is kind of just gets destroyed. Uh, he decides to go yep, into that Aegislash. So now we can bring in whatever we would like. Um, I think we just go Frank, to be honest. We're going to bring right in the Dracovish. This thing hits so damn hard. It's not even funny, especially in the rain. So let's go ahead and just click Fish's Rend. And even if that Rotom Wash wants to come in, it... 
This thing does not care what type you are. It hurts. Oh, he's gonna king shield. Okay, fuck. Well, that's gonna drop my attack, which is annoying. So... It's annoying that we have to deal with Age Slashes again. All right, well, I'm just gonna click it again. Um, this thing can hit me for some damage, but with the Choice Carve, I would like to save this. I probably wanna switch out due to the fact that we got that attack drop. Um, now he can bring in Rotom Wash and at least do a bit better. Just as soon as the Rotom Wash comes in, we basically, something dies, which is not the best. But let's see what wants to happen here. I'm assuming he's going to stay in. Or he could just go right into that Rotom. Would have been great to be able to get my Stealth Rock up. Um, but he actually just stays in here. The Fish's Rend is almost even going to knock this thing out, which is insane. So he's going to go for that Stance Change. Changes into Blade Form. And just goes right for a Shadow Ball here. So we don't really want to stay in because this thing can just King Shield again. Um, so I'm thinking... I think we want to switch here. I think we go into... I think we go into Bear Scooter here. The, the, uh, the shield is the obvious play, but he could make a nice prediction and just go for a Shadow Ball again. He's going to stance change, actually, so that's good news. But the bad news is just the fact that this rain is going away. We can still get it up. I'm thinking Dynamax Dreadnaw um, might be our best answer. But all right. So we now just click Liquidation here. Choice Banded in the rain. Nothing really wants to come in and take that. He can't go Rotom uh, because we would just be able to outspeed next turn. I think we actually, I think this actually might even be the last, the last turn of rain, which... Oof. The battle music is so intense, too. The most evil fish. All right. So he just stays in with the sword. Or actually, shield. And that thing goes down. So he's down to three. He's down to the Ditto, the Cinderace, and the Rotom Wash. So the rain does go away, which is terrible. Now he just gets to bring in the Rotom. And essentially just kill something, which is not good. But what even are... What's the speed tiers here? Rescued is pretty quick, but we do like that rain up. So if the Rotom Wash is maxed out, it gets 151. That thing is way too quick. It also could be potentially scarfed. I don't think we've seen what item that thing's working with yet. So we'll see. He's going to bring in Nesquik, which is going to be the... Okay, so he brings in the Cinderace. This thing is quick as hell. Um, and I'm also pretty sure you owe Komi here. But then we can bring in a revenge switch. Uh, this thing at 188. What is Cinderace speed? Still learning my speed tiers, boys. <laughs> it takes. So learn it. Cinderace is quick as fuck. It's actually 188 as well. Oh my god, we've got a speed tie. Potential speed tie here if this thing is plus speed nature. We can't Aqua Jet because I'm banded. So we just. I could Dynamax also. Man. I think we just click liquidation. Might be a bad play. Oh, he's gonna go first, he goes for the U-turn. That shows me that this thing is gonna be like scarfed. So, definitely a scarf if he decided to bring that thing in. Uh, the U-turn does a lot of damage. So it's a good play that we didn't switch out there. But that scarf Cinderace is gonna be a problem. He goes into Washington here. We're able to hit a liquidation, which, whew, that does a chunk. Not bad. We essentially just click that again. Um, or do I Dynamax here? I think we actually Dynamax. All right, boys, we're going to Dynamax. Hit him with that Max Geyser. And But is this Rotom Scarf, actually? That's what it comes down to. Damn, if this is a Scarf Rotom, we actually... We're going to be pretty screwed, which Scarf Rotom is pretty, pretty prominent in this meta. So it could be... Um, I think the Dynamax play is a good idea here, though, because if he isn't Scarf, we have ourselves in a decent situation. So, very large fishy. And we are actually able to go first, which is fantastic. So, the Max Geyser. Ooh, it doesn't quite knock this thing out, though. 
But the reason why we go for Max Geyser is because it sets up the rain. And the rain is our friend on this team. So it would have been great to get a kill there. But we do not. But now we have rain uh, for essentially the rest of the match. Kind of getting down to it in the timer here. But I think we've kind of we've got ourselves in a decent situation. So the Dynamax was kind of just necessary to set up the rain. Um, he's now going to go into Nesquik again. And I believe we have to go Shelton. Bring in young Bowser. And we just click liquidation here. Would have been great to have my G Max. But what can you do? I guess we'll see what happens here. Rotom is still around. He still has that ditto, um, which could come in. That's yeah, going to be scary. So he's going to U-turn. Uh, he's going to be faster because it's Scarf. That uh, U-turn just does so much damage. Come on. You have a damn shell. Why are you taking so much from a U-turn? All right. Washington comes in, does die, but now he gets to switch in the ditto, um, which does have the matchup against us because it can superpower. So we about to get destroyed by a ditto, I think. Most likely Scarf Ditto gets our Swift Swim. It's able to kind of just use my rain against me, but I don't know if there was really anything else I could have done in this situation. That's that, uh, that Rotom Wash, man. My least favorite washing, ma washing machine of all time. All right, so he's really thinking about it here. Uh, I think his play is he goes Ditto. Um, Cinderace likely has a kill on us at this point, I believe, as well. It's going to go to Nest quick, so I suppose it just comes down to what this thing does. We have Scarf Frank, but it's just not going to be enough against the Scarf Cinderace, so we just click Liquidation here. It does have the low kick, and that does knock us out. So... This was a really close one. We just bring in Frank. This thing is scarfed into clicking low kick, which doesn't really matter. I assume he'll switch out here into the ditto. But all we can really do is click Fish's Rend. And uh, there's just nothing you can do. With the Cinderace with a max or with a base. With the base speed of this thing's got, it's just way too quick, especially with a scarf. There's like nothing <laughs> that can outspeed this damn soccer player. He's actually just going to stay in here, go for the low kick, and that's just going to knock us out. So, that is going to be the end of the match there. So, not a bad battle. Thank you very much, Dylan. Don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed, and I will be back with some more Wi-Fi battles soon. Peace out.